Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm your host, the Connoisseur of Nothing, and today we're talking about whiskey. Um, that's my drink of choice. As you can see, I have quite a few bottles here as well as up here um, in the second row behind all this right here. Um, today I'm going to talk about the very first bottle that started all of this. Um, I'm 36 bottles deep right now. Uh, give or take, depending on what week and what's going on that week. Um, usually, I'll probably ice. Um, well, I can't even say because sometimes I go long spells without drinking at all. But this is what I like to drink. Um, and today, I have the ball that started it all. The classic. The legendary. The iconic. All of you have had it. Don't lie. I know you have. Whether you want to admit it or not, you've had it. You've enjoyed it and you loved it. And that is good old Crown Royal Regal Apple. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys something that I, I found extremely interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys will, but I found to be extremely interesting and actually a little funny. So, let me go ahead and give you guys the marketing. Flavorful and refined. To create this extraordinary blend, Crown Royal whiskeys are hand-selected by a master blender and infused with Regal Gala apples. The result is a delicious whiskey balanced with notes of crisp apple and joy straight on the rocks or in a cocktail for a uniquely smooth experience. Crown Royal blended Canadian whiskey was first created as a gift for the King and Queen of England to honor them during their visit to Canada in 1939. Goddamn. To this day, every bottle of Crown Royal whiskey is crafted to meet that same uncompromising standard. Isn't that remarkable? I think so. Um, this is what I found to be extremely entertaining. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if this is true or not, but this is the very first Nutrition facts I've seen on any bottle of alcohol, uh, any bottle of hard liquor that I've seen. Um, serving size is 1.5 fluid ounces, so if you're taking one shot and you're saying you're done, you're cheating yourself. At least have another. Um, calories, 100 calories. Carbohydrates, 5 grams of carbohydrates. Zero grams of fat, zero grams of protein. I do not think that this is keto friendly, but I may be wrong. Anyways, let's move on to the bottle. The iconic classic faux velvet bag that comes with every bottle of Crown Royal. This one's green, usually purple, and I think the vanilla is brown or tan. Um, I'm going to crack this open. And let's go ahead and pour some. I have already taken off the plastic on here, um, so I wasn't fighting with it. For a little tasting. That should be enough for a taste. Okay, let's sit it right here sitting pretty. Right? Right. So um just if any of you are wondering, um this glass is called a Glen Karen glass. Um it's used for tasting, um, smelling, bourbon, uh probably other as well, but as far as I know it's for whiskey. Um what you want is this tulip shape, this bulbous down bottom, narrows up to the top. Um, whenever it's shaped like this, the bottom being wider, it holds the alcohol vapors down and it lets other notes rise up. So if you're smelling for things and you just don't want to smell alcohol because alcohol does not smell good, you want a glass like this. Okay, so off the bat, surprise, surprisingly, I'm getting apple. Shocking. Shockingly appley. A lot more appley than what I even remember, as a matter of fact. I used to love drinking this. Um, I would put it in the freezer and I would let it get ice cold because you know alcohol doesn't freeze. And I would um just drink it straight. And at the time to me, drinking straight alcohol, especially because I wasn't a drinker when I started drinking this, this this was when I first started drinking, was insane. Um, I didn't know how people drink straight alcohol. Now I do it all the time with stuff that's super high proof. Um, I was just drinking 
I got this bottle here. Um, and this is, what is this? 131.2. Um, it's a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. 131.2 proof. That is octane. But this, at the time, drinking this straight was a feat. Unless I put it in the freezer. And when I put it in the freezer, it tastes like drinking a Jolly Rancher in the best way possible. As far as the smell I'm getting, what the smell is reminding me of, um, if you're around my age, a little bit older, you'll remember um, back in the day in little corner stores, um, they would sell bags of candy and like little sandwich bags that you'd get for like 25 cent, big bag for 50 cent. And um, there used to be these um, these green apple candies. They were chews. And they were like little rectangles. This smells exactly like that. Like exactly like, at least exactly how I remember those smelling. It's very crisp. It smells like a very crisp, juicy apple. It smells like everything you want an apple to be, oddly enough. I'm not getting any whiskey notes. I'm not getting... um any barrel notes I'm not getting anything else really the only thing I'm getting is the best apple I've ever smelled in my life that's that's really all I'm getting and it doesn't smell artificial it smells very natural which is good and um, one of the things that I wanted to look up before I even did this was how the hell do they get the apple flavor in here is it just like artificial apple flavor so from a little bit of information I was able to find what it says is they harvest gala apples and then they put them in with water and alcohol and they let it steep. Um, so they probably like puree or cut it up and then they let it pure and then they let it sit in hot water and alcohol and then they say they distill it um, and then blend it with whiskey. So. That, in my opinion, that makes it better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be some bullshit and that they were just mixing apple flavor in with this. Um, but from what it sounds like, it sounds like they're making an effort. It's 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 more of a craft product than what I would just offhand assume it to be. If I'm correct in the information I got is correct, I'm very okay with this apple stuff. Um, with this, the process that they get the apple flavor into here. And um, if it's as good as I remember... Um, I'll probably start getting this again. I haven't got this in about two years. Okay. So, shockingly, I'm getting apple. Very good. Very, very, very sweet. No tartness. Just very smooth, sweet, velvety juicy yes very juicy apple very sweet man it's delicious by by no means is this bad is this not good this is very delicious is this something that I would drink every day no no um something this sweet is a little bit too much to drink a lot of in my opinion um i enjoy sweet bourbon sweet that's the main thing i drink um i mainly drink bourbon um i have some scotches they're sweet um irish whiskey is sweet but this is like this is like candy this is like candy sweet and again it tastes good i'm not saying like it's it's disgusting like it's very good it's very very good but it's very sweet and that that's expected um crown royal sells an insane amount of whiskey and people want their alcohol to be sweet because alcohol does not taste good it doesn't um unless you have a very refined palate it's not going to taste good at all especially not whiskey if you don't have a refined palate you're not appreciating of the different types of flavors that you can get out of a whiskey it doesn't taste good to the average person average person they want something sweet that's why soda sells like crazy because it's sweet that's why juice sells everywhere because it's sweet people aren't buying bitter drinks 
other than coffee, and whenever they get coffee, they get sugar and cream and caramel and who knows what at it. You try to get something from Starbucks, how long is that sentence going to be for a damn drink? You know, so this is very mass appealing because it's very sweet. Um, I can see how it'd be very, very used in cocktails, anything that you want an apple flavor in. This will get it. This will get you there. Absolutely. Um, so this right here, oh, sorry, this right here is the bottle that started all that led me to have in this collection. That is a mass of 36 different bottles of whiskey. Kinda. So really what really brought me to drinking whiskey a lot and appreciating whiskey a lot was this this right here is called monkey shoulder this is a scotch what is a scotch oh and by the way um crown Royal is a canadian whiskey what that means is it's made in canada what scotch is means it's made in scotland um this particularly is, I think, a space side. Yes. Yeah, this is a space side scotch. This is blended. This is a blended malt scotch. And um, this is what really got me into drinking whiskey and appreciating whiskey. So, before I got here and after I left here, I tried a couple different things. So, after I had the Crown Royal, I was like, okay, maybe this whiskey stuff is for me. I like this. This is whiskey. I don't even think that's technically whiskey because, yes, let me check the box. 35%. Um, so, yeah, I don't think that that is technically whiskey. I think whiskey needs to be at least 40%. I think. Um, but I digress. So, I really wanted to, to like whiskey, so I started trying other whiskeys. So I tried, um, I tried Johnny Walker. Yeah. I seen Johnny Walker in TV shows, um, and it seemed very fancy, you know? The bottle looked fancy, looked cool, you know? Um, it was a little, a little expensive compared to what I had been drinking before. Um, and yeah, I just want, I was like, yeah, Johnny Walker. Yeah, I've heard the name before. I've seen it in shows. It looks fancy. Yeah, give me a bottle of that. I think it was John Walker Red. And um, I got home that night. It was a Friday night. I picked it up after I got off work. And, um, you know, I poured me up a, a shot. I wanted to take a sip. I wanted to take a sip. It was like licking a damn ashtray. It was horrible. It was horrible. I was like, God damn, how the hell, how the hell are people drinking this? This is disgusting. It's like licking an ashtray. That's the, that's how I remember. I don't remember any other flavor other than an ashtray. Licking an ashtray, burnt everything. That's what it tastes like. So I'm like, okay, let me um, let me try mixing this. I got some Coca Cola. Let me go mix it with some Coca Cola. I mix it with Coca Cola. Disgusting. Everything I tried to mix it with. I did not like. I don't even know what happened to the bottom. I probably just poured it out. It was not good. It was not good at all. Um, and then um, I tried a few other things. I tried um, some Jim Bean products. I think I tried some Jack Daniels products. And um, the ones I had were okay. Um, they're nothing, nothing crazy. They were okay. Um, I tried an Elijah Craig. I think it was Elijah Craig. Yeah. And I thought that was okay as well. It was getting better. I was my selections were getting better. Um, and while and that Elijah Craig was the big jump up, and really what got me there was a um, YouTube channel called Whiskey Trap. Uh, Rex and Daniel, um, pretty much they have directed me through picking whiskeys to like them and a few other channels, but mainly them. Um, they gave me the knowledge I needed to look for what I wanted. And that's what ultimately led me to this guy right here. Monkey Shoulder. Um, let me go ahead and pull up a tasting. 
But this was the game changer for me. For me, what I found in this was it wasn't it wasn't just destroying my mouth like the Johnny Walker was. Um, it was sweet, but it wasn't it wasn't like drinking candy. Um, and it had enough complexity to be interesting. Um, well, from what I can remember, I used to notice I used to get a lot. All the well, call monkey shoulder. I used to get banana a lot. I would get banana. Um, leather, um, slightly like dusty notes, um, stuff like that. that. That's what I remember um, tasting a lot when drinking this. So let's go ahead and see. I poured a little bit of every drink. This will probably be my whiskey for the night then. Um, so off the nose. Okay. I'm getting um some flour, like flowers, not not no distinct flower, but floral notes. Okay. Hmm, what is that? Some type of baked good. I don't. I can't really put my hand on it, but some sort of baked good. Yeah. Caramel, which is odd. I don't think I've ever got that from this before. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting that leather. It has leathery notes. Um, slight bitterness. Also very sweet. I'm not really getting any banana. Where is that sweetness coming from? Hmm. Like honey. Like a um a raw honey. Mm, very good. Yes, very good. So where was I gonna go with this? So monkey shoulder. Uh reasonably priced. You can pick this up for usually mid thirties, mid low thirties. Well I, actually now it's creeping up, it's been in the high thirties. Um, when I got this, it was in the high 20s, and now I use it in the mid 30s. Um, very good. If you are interested in whiskey, this I very much so recommend this. Uh, this will give you a bunch of different aspects of it. So, bourbon, you're looking at a lot of vanilla flavor. Uh, you get cherry notes, sweet, um, uh, dark dried fruits. Uh, like dried apricots, uh, fig and stuff like that. Um, then you got um, Irish whiskey. Uh, I got some red breasts. Um, I think I finished my other two bottles of Irish whiskey I got. So yeah, I only got one now. All right, so I need to pick up some more Irish. Uh, there you're going to get um, like butter cookie, um, shortbread cookie, um, Oftentimes, what I get when drinking Irish whiskey is um, those little short, those little round shortbread cookies that will have like a little dollop of jam in the middle of it. It'll be like um, apricot or some sort of dry jam um, or raspberry. I think Mott's makes them. I, I get that flavor a lot, and I think the red breast gives me that. Um, this is a space high scotch. Scotch, it depends on what you want to get, can be very, very different from one another. Um, there's not one flavor profile of scotch. Scotch is probably definitely the most diverse um, area of whiskey. That I did, I did not know that whenever I first got into drinking whiskey. Um, and some of the things that I did wish I knew. Um, once I started getting into whiskey, 
one of the things I thought was that the more you pay, the better the whiskey is going to be. Because a lot of times in life, whether we choose to believe it or not, the more you pay for something, odds are the better of a product you're going to get. That's the way it is. Um, but whiskey, that's not the case. It's not the case at all. Um, you can find you a very cheap bottle of whiskey as far as price, but it's ex of extremely high quality, a very good taste, and it fits your flavor profile that you enjoy drinking a lot. And you can get something that's super expensive and you're like, oh, I, don't, I don't really care for this. Um, or this is disgusting like the Johnny Walker, which when I had that, it was like looking at ashtray. Maybe I should go back to it now that I'm a bit more experienced. I have um, more of a diverse taste palette of what I enjoy drinking. Now, again, I'm, I'm not an expert. Again, I'm the connoisseur of nothing. I'm opinionated on most, expert of none. I enjoy this. I enjoy drinking whiskey. I'm not an expert. I'm not the end-all, be-all. I know what I know. I don't what I don't. And I just enjoy living my life. And these are some of the things that, that I enjoy doing. Um, but for instance, to, to one of the points I'm pointing out, I actually have them lined up. And that was not by design. That's just by happenstance. Um, this back here is fancy looking box that I'm tapping right here. This is called Booker's. This is a bourbon, uncut and unfiltered, small batch bourbon collection. This is a product that's made by Jim Beam. Um, you've probably heard of Jim Beam. It's probably the second, if not the first largest whiskey brand here in the United States. It's either out of Jim or Jack, Jack Daniels. Um, that is their high-end premium bottle of bourbon bookers okay and here is their low end this is called old tub if that ain't the most rinky dink name you've heard of old tub is very it is what it is um kentucky straight bourbon whiskey stilled and bottled by who did i say james b bean distilling company in claremont kentucky unfiltered for more robust flavor. Um, so that's unfiltered. This is unfiltered. This is um, brought down to a lower proof so that they can sell more bottles of it, whereas that is not. Um, and this, um, prices are regional. It will change state to state. Here, um, well, it can, it can change even more different than state to state, but here in PA, um, our alcohol is run by the state, so it's pretty much the same price across the state. Um, you can get this for like $16, $17. The Bookers, I got that for like 90 some odd dollars, which came over to be 100 once the taxes were applied. Is the Bookers a good bourbon? Yeah, it's good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Is this a good bourbon? Yes, absolutely. I enjoy it. I actually think I prefer this a little bit more, especially... Once you drink it um, and you get some air space into it and it sits for a little while, it gets even better. That's another thing that I wish that I knew whenever I got into um, drinking whiskey. The whiskey is a living thing. It will change over time. The longer it sits in a bottle and there's air that's a, that it's exposed to, it will oxidize. Um, so... If you leave it there sealed up, it's good to go. It's going to stay that way. As long as you don't get hit in the light, anything like that, the flavor will primarily stay the same. However, if you crack it open, you expose some oxygen to it, you take some out. Over time, the, the flavors of that bottle will change. Um, because that old tub, I've, this is my third or fourth bottle of it now. Um, the first bottle, I got it because I had seen a bunch of reviews on it. Um, I drank some. Didn't like it. Put the top on. Oh, well, no. I drank it straight. Didn't like it. Mixed it with some Coca-Cola. Eh, it was okay. Um, put the top on. Sat it on a shelf. Wasn't really touching it. New Year's was coming. Um, it's New Year's Eve night. Me and the fellas, we want to go over to one, one home crib. Um, we want to drink play some card games, kick back, relax. Okay, I'm going to bring that. 
it's a cheap bottle if it's gone it ain't gonna hurt so i took that and it was delicious and since then i've gotten several bottles and um it's very good it's very very good and it's cheap it's one of the cheaper bottles i have um this old rebel well not old because this rebel yale uh 100 this is very good as well um and it's very cheap so you don't have to spend a lot of money on whiskey and that's one of the things that i wish i knew um other than that if you do have any questions fee fee free whoo the tongue twists are coming today please feel free to go down below type in the comments ask whatever you want to ask if you agree with anything i've said go ahead and agree if you like monkey shoulder let me know if you hate it you think it's the worst thing in the bottle let me know i would love to know um and i'll catch you guys on the next one please remember like comment share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend we out peace